I'm a visual artist based in Melbourne and I work across a range of media. This series is titled Bloodline and it's, um, it's actually an extension of an earlier series which I made last year. Titled, that series was titled Mob Rule and it consisted of a, about 140 works. They were portraits of political leaders, heads of state, heads of corporation, military leaders and royalty that I had uh, painted over. These figures are representations of power in, um, in their various manifestations. It was more about erasing the individual and the personality and um, leaving uh, the representation of, of um, you know, the institutions they represent. This series here is an extension of that series and uh, its, its focus is primarily on the royal aspect. The figures that I've chosen to work with are the, the female royal figures. Um, and I did this because when I was working with all the other ones, I found that working with um, royalty in general, but um, with particularly the, the female ones, that there was a really kind of interesting thing happening with the black enamel paint that I used and the aspects of the original image that I allowed to remain visible. Their regalia, their jewellery, tiaras, and there was something quite seductive about that that, that appealed to me. This is a, an evolution of that, of the original idea, which was um, uh, a work or a series of works titled Cover Ups, which um, were really um, an examination of, of uh, declassified documents, which I was looking at at the time. And I just started applying this, this process of blocking out information to, instead of being in sort of text type, uh, text based uh, documents or uh, scenarios, I started applying to visual ones and most of these images are sourced from you know books on the the, the royal family and they, they used to publish um, annual compilations of what the royals had done over the course of a year and um, and a lot of these exist in op shops I mean they're, they're everywhere so the most of the images are, are sourced through then scanned um, made into photographic prints and then painted over you mainly with a, a black aerosol enamel paint but then with these later works I've come back and there's areas which I may have left part of the original image visible that I've come back and started using paint brushes as well um, so just mixing it up a little bit. Bloodline was initially um, exhibited last year in a different sort of presentation and manifestation it was these works but I, I did have I did use a, a kind of a domestic type wallpaper as a backing, um, mainstream, um, cheap wallpaper that, that, that was kind of faux classy, you know, and, and aiming to have that kind of almost royal-like look. And given that the earlier representation, or presentation, I should say, of, of the work was against this kind of domestic background um, w with the wallpaper, I thought I'd um, look at something that was either industrial or external or exterior or had those types of references and it kind of evolved from different ideas and ended up with this idea of uh, slabs of concrete. And it's also got a, a kind of a quality about it this, this time around presenting it like this that, that I'm happy with. I can't help but think of uh, mausoleums and the sort of monuments and all the sort of heavy kind of stuff. My process is, it kind of changes and shifts and I think that's reflected in just generally the works that I make. There's a lot of different mediums that I work with and, um, uh, you know, I don't think you could easily kind of identify an overall type of style or anything like that. So, you know, there's times where my process will be defined by how, whether I feel like being in the studio and being physical with work or whether I feel like it's more about thinking about things and playing with things on a smaller scale uh, on a computer or, you know, just in collages. And um, The process is not a fixed thing. It always changes and um, 
And I think the kind of output of the work reflects that too. There's periods where I'll just get kind of bored with working with a certain thing and need to, to, to uh, change that and start working you know, in a totally different direction.